Welcome to Animal A Day! Quick Green Link Spider Facts! The Pest Punisher! 1. Link spiders are a family of hundreds of species of fanged spiders. The green link spider is one specific species from that family. 2. The various species in the family can be found nearly worldwide except in the Sahara Desert and far north and south latitudes. The green links specifically can be found in southern U.S. states, as well as Mexico, Central America, and parts of the Caribbean. 3. Their eyes are set up in a unique way compared to other spiders. Six of their eight eyes are arranged at each point in a hexagon. Right below their hexagonal shaped grouping of eyes lies two more smaller eyes. 4. Green link spiders show sexual dimorphism, with females being about twice as big as males. Females can measure up to 7 eighths of an inch, or 22 millimeters in length. 5. They don't use webs to capture prey passively like some spiders, instead preferring to attack prey actively in a similar fashion to jumping spiders. They are ambush predators who often hide in plants and remain camouflaged while waiting for prey to come along. 6. Many people find them useful for their ability to kill pests, like moths and wasps, so they keep them around. Though they can be beneficial, like most spiders, they can also harm local honeybee populations. 7. Even though they have no need to create a masterwork of web to capture unsuspecting prey, they still have silk. They instead use the silk to craft a backpack, or sack, to carry their eggs and eventual hatchlings. 8. They assemble the egg sack near the end of summer or the beginning of fall. They can lay up to 600 of their tiny orange orbs at once, but most lay closer to 200. It takes a few weeks for the eggs to hatch, and another few weeks for the babies to develop to a point where they can leave the sack and venture on their own. 9. Green link spiders can spit out venom from their fangs as a defense mechanism. Their liquid missiles can travel as far as almost 8 times the length of their own bodies. This translates to about 8 inches or 20 centimeters. And 10. Though they're venomous, they're not particularly dangerous towards humans. They have used their fangs to chomp down on people before, but it's rare, and the side effects are minor. Besides the pain of the bite itself, it usually only causes slight swelling at the site of the wound. Thanks for watching. Now take that subscribe button to the zoo.